Father, we love you so much. Jesus, I thank you for this amazing day that we can come together as a church, as a group of people that love you, that honor you, that want to please you. And I just pray, Lord, as that Brett ministers and as I minister your word, that your anointing would be upon it. God, that we could look at the man in the mirror and that today we could begin to walk and be the Imago Day. I thank you that your word does not return void, but it accomplishes what it is sent forth to do. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Would you welcome Brett right now? As you gaze into your mirror, whose reflection do you see? It's a reflection of myself staring back at me. Yet when I reflect, it is quite clear to see that my reflection is only the outer part of me. The man in the mirror does not tell it all, for it cannot reflect where my life was stalled. The reflection is a shell that appears in a glass. It's an outward manifestation of the things of my past. When I look into the glass, the image isn't always clear. Yet I'm reminded when I don't see him, God is still near. Sometimes I don't like the image when it appears for it reflects my pains, my weaknesses and fears. People always judge me for what I used to do, not even realizing that God can change you. Some see a person whose life was chained to sin, one who was struggling, whose life was at its end. I've learned I'm not identified by blemishes in view. The word declares the old has passed away, all things are new. His love caused him to leave a place of beauty and of rest to provide a gift for me, God's very best. You see, he did not look and find my guilt, my filth and shame. He saw a man he knew one day would call upon his name. So I'm here to say to you, to all who hear my voice, serving him's not forced on you, it's merely just a choice. It's up to you to look and change the image that you see. This can be achievable when Jesus dwells in thee. The man in the mirror can receive a facelift, but this is only possible by opening his gift. God the Father sent his son, Jesus is his name. And only when you look to him, your image can be changed. So as you look into your mirror and you gaze upon your face, remember him for goodness, his mercy, and his grace. No matter if the enemy tries to attack, remember you are covered. God's got your back. For the glory of your Lord is your rear guard. You have your armor on, your feet are shod. So move into your destiny, become a mirror of his word. Be bold and courageous and proclaim his word. The man in the mirror, he has changed his ways. And the Savior will walk with him for all of his days. Thank you. Come on, give God some praise for that. Isn't that amazing?